Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to upload a bunch of files that I have here. I'm just going to copy the path here. I want to upload those into SharePoint, and I want to do that using PowerShell. Of course, I can just drag and drop, but now we're trying to use PowerShell. So the first thing we need to do is, of course, to get all those files. So I'm going to declare a variable called files, where I want an array of all the files. I want to use the get child item commandlet and send that the parameter of my folder where all the files are. That will give me an array of all the files in that folder. So let's just check that. Files. There we go. There's all the files there. Great. Then I just want to loop through those. If you think I'm going too fast, if then of course you can pause, but you can also go back to my previous demos to, that will show you what I'm doing here. I'm connecting to SharePoint with PowerShell. I've explained all that before. I've also, so you can go back to those videos if you want. Now I'm going to loop. Uh, I'm going to use the for each. I've explained that in previous demos also. And here I'm declaring a variable file in files. So I'm looping through each and every one of the files. And what I want to do now is, of course, upload those into SharePoint. So let's look at the command for upload. Here we go. View the command add-on. If you search for upload, there's actually nothing there. But if you search for file, there's plenty of stuff there. And that's what we're working with, of course. So we're adding files. And the most important parameters there are folder and path. And here might be a good time to show the get help again, because that is very useful. Of course, we want the add PNP file. And of course, we always we want examples, right? So let's look at those. And there you see the folder is the path on the SharePoint site. So shared documents, something like that, right? So depending on where you upload to, but it's a local path. It's not the full URL. It's the local path. So our document library here is called shared documents. So let's just take that part of it. There we go. With it, it works with the space also. It's actually, we should use the space there. So let's do that. So that's what we want. We want the shared documents there. So we're going to type that in, shared documents. Right. So let's go back here and do add PMP file. And uh, we want to have the folder. And then we want to have the shared documents. That's the relative path to the document library in our SharePoint site. And then we want to do the path. And in order to get now IntelliSense on my file object, I'm going to do this row. I'm just going to set the file to the first file in the files array there, like that. If I run that line of code now, I will get the IntelliSense of that file um, dot full name, which is exactly what I want. That's the full path to the file. So now I can just comment that one out. We need to comment that one out, otherwise we'll go for the same one all the time. We want to upload all the files. So that should be it. We should be able to upload all of those files now. So I'm running that. And here we are. We should be getting files in there. So let's refresh. And there we go. Indeed, it's uploading items in here and outputting the results here also. So that's my demo. That is how you upload files using PowerShell from the file system into a SharePoint document library. Thank you for watching this demonstration.